Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson. I'm a rheumatologist. Today, I'm going to talk about antikinra for the treatment of inflammatory arthritis. You can visit our website, www.rheuminfo.com, and print off one of our antikinra picto pamphlets to follow along with this video. Antikinra is also known as kinneret. Antikinra is taken by an injection under the skin once a day. A nurse can teach you how to give the injections, and a friend or family member can also help with your injections. Now, some people can feel better quite quickly after starting Anakinra, but for others, it can take a little longer. Now, there are three things you need to do when taking Anakinra. You should discuss these with your doctor. First, Anakinra can make it slightly harder for you to fight off infections. You should stop taking Anakinra if you develop a fever, if you think you have an infection, or if you're given antibiotics to treat an infection. Second, you should have occasional blood tests while taking anakinra. This is important to keep track of your arthritis and to make sure your blood counts are okay. And finally, anakinra has not been properly studied in pregnancy. Let your doctor know if you become pregnant, if you plan to get pregnant, or if you're breastfeeding. Anakinra can cause a reaction at the injection site. Let your doctor know if these are severe. Now they can get better with time. Anakinra should also be stopped before surgery. It can be restarted once things have healed and there's no sign of infection. If you're having surgery, talk to your doctor about when to stop the medication. Anakinra hasn't been properly studied in pregnancy. And finally, Anakinra has not been associated with development of cancer. However, it's not known if long-term use could increase this risk. Please discuss this with your doctor. If you're taking Anakinra, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and want to stop, if you're concerned about any side effects, or if you've stopped or want to stop the medication for any reason at all. Now for Anakinra, there are a few other specific reasons to call your doctor. If you have a fever or think you have an infection, if you're planning surgery, if you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant, if you plan to get any vaccinations, or if you develop a rash. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please refer to our website at www.roominfo.com.